Hello there and welcome to the FIVB World Tour where this week we are indoors in The Hague. Well, the weather currently in Europe is very, very cold, but in the Zuda Park Arena, we can play beach volleyball all year round. Beautiful conditions, nice and warm, and no wind. Well, it's the time of the medal matches in the men's competition, where Russia take on the home nation in the Netherlands. Konstantin Semenov, Ilya Lekrushkov will go up against Alex Brower, and Robert Mewson for bronze medals. Disappointment for both teams. That Russian team in your picture lost out to Vyacheslav Krasilnikov and Oleg Stoyanovsky. Krasilnikov was the former partner of the man that was on the left of your picture. And Semenov, Vavrawa Mewson. Well, they seem like they've been together forever. This is their 22nd final four. And for the team that won the World Championships in 2013, and also a bronze medal in Rio 2016, that day, they actually beat Semenov with former partner Krasilnikov. Semenov on your left had to settle for fourth place. Russia are still yet to win a medal in beach volleyball at the Olympic Games. Crazy thought because indoors they are the most decorated nation ever. This is Brower and Newsom's 81st competition together. The referees. Martin Geisel on the stand from Belgium and from Croatia. Drago Peslac on the sand. Firstly, the Russians will be presented number five seeds. A new pairing from 2017. They made the semi final, sorry, the finals of the European Championships here in The Hague just six months ago. Ilya Leshikov from St. Petersburg makes his way into the arena. And Semenov now 29 years old, two meters. 10 centimeters. One of the biggest on the world tour. Multiple silver medals, European championships, two golds on the world tour with Krasilnikov. And listen to the reaction for the Dutch. First out, Alex Brower, 29 years old, and his partner, Robert Mewson, 30 years of age now. This team have won six gold medals, five silvers, and five bronze on the FIVB World Tour. And here's an opportunity for bronze medal number six. Semenov and Leshikov, well, it's only their 11th competition together. Two golds already, though. 
The Mersin three start. And the Yang Shao four start. Back in October. So they're a team in form. And in Semenov, you have great height. He loves to hit cross court through the body. Brower Mewson play a very high physical game themselves. Seven off to serve, chasing in to try and block Brower. Serve to the inside. Yeah! And for many people, hitting from the center of court would try and drag the ball back to the line. Instead for Brower, so physical. At six foot six, he just access the whole court from wherever. FIVB best spiker in 2017. A year where Anders Moll cleared up at the end of season awards. Most outstanding player, one of many awards for the Norwegian. Let's go off to serve. All weekend long, or all week, as we're on day five of this competition, float serving has been an issue to receive for absolutely everyone. Brower goes for more power with spin. The reception is picked up really early. Nice platform made by Leshikov, and then quick feet in his approach, and a nerdle to the line. for Russia as Brower runs that wide set all day long and when you have Semenov at the net if you move him across the face of it he struggles to penetrate and keep his line and penetration Brower Mewson running the ball around trying to frustrate Semenov Semenov going backwards with in his setting approach but the hands are fine good side out for Russia first change of ends Russia lead by one serve Brower and he hits big at angles really so they change up to Mewson who looks to the line and then hits back through the body really nicely both teams starting pretty impressively so far wide plays this time for Leshikov it's a good read from the Netherlands but a lovely soft shot dragging the defender sharp on the angle means the short line is always open if you can miss the blocker yeah. Yeah. line play both teams are certainly siding out early on same sort of play width on the set shooting high line the defender has to respect the sharp angle in this game. All players, so, so big. Quite a straight pass from Neshkos. Had a look at the net. Twice he goes through. Houston. He says, my bad. Very good from Yusin. He stays square on. He looks as if he can go line and then works it back on the angle. Yeah! Finally, the block comes to the party. Semenov left frustrated. Currently, Brower Mewson. 
are only one final four behind Reindeer Numador and Richard Shaw from the Netherlands on the all-time list of greats. Brow and Musen rely on each other's reading. They won't always signal where they're blocking and playing D. They will make reads. It's a good read from Musen. It's just his inside hand. Doesn't quite get across to stop the angles that Semenov at six feet 11 tall can hit. Wide play, Semenov chasing. Once again, the width on the set is causing Semenov problems. And Brower scores all day long. is fast, out of system. Lezhikov just fades to the right-hand side, gets his hand somehow on the ball. But the break is getting almost a spike set from Brower. Chance of the free ball through Semenov, who's seen again by Brower. Some rally this one. Alex Brower and Lezhikov playing outstanding defense. Hand over, pulled against Russia. Rally of the game so far. One to the side, but Brower on his knees, whips one to the wing. And then he reads Semenov. Semenov drops his arm for the high line. Brower releases when he sees it. Semenov gets back to business. And where Brower saw the hand drop before, this is Semenov at his best. There is. And Hannes, the head coach of the Netherlands, joined by Reindeer Numador, who apparently has been teaching Brown Mewson his famous off the body cut shot. Lock is back. Semenov and Krasilnikov were a threat on the World Tour for a long time, but having gone their separate ways, Krasilnikov with... Semenov goes into the net this time. Nikita Liamin and Krasilnikov didn't quite work out. Krasilnikov and Stoyanovsky certainly is as is this partnership between Semenov and Leshikov. Wide passing, trying to open up the game. Perfect modern day volleyball from Russia. Passing on an angle from Leshikov. Semenov could hit this on two, he pulls the block and the wide set loses Musen. Modern day volleyball, really good from the big men from Russia. Great start. Both teams finding ways to score.
Higher plays. Yes. Drifting blocks. Problem is when you're drifting in the air, putting your hands forward and taking time away from the spiker is tough, but it's just off the outside hand. That's not easy to do either. Leshikov faces the line and somehow just works all the way off the body to the opposite corner. Impressive, Leshikov. It looks as if this Russian team are adding more tools to their armory. Out of system, Newson. Robert Newson does so well there. The ball is well off the net from the pass from Brower. But anywhere on the net will do when you're Brower Musen. It really will. As soon as the ball's on the net, Brower has options. Again, more width from Russia. The game is changing, isn't it? it used to be a generic up and down set from every team in the world. Not anymore. Especially indoors, no wind, no disruptions. With this time from the Dutch, indoor volleyball on the beach, an indoor beach anyway. Leshikov has a good look, chips line. You can see Leshikov at the bottom of the jump, he just looks at the whole court before getting out the sand. Scoring, it goes either way. Let's you cop the serve. Straight back to the line for Brower. Passes fairly straight. Tomahawk! The Gators out in the Hague. Have a bit of that. Holland stays still. And the Gator goes back on one. playing poorly but their service reception has to improve slightly that one's a good lead from Brower two-point game Brower Mewson took a third in this event last year Intriguing to see that Brower Mewson haven't ever won in the Hague. The best they've ever done is a bronze, and that's all they can do today. More rippers from Brower, who just sits on the angle, parks and mates. Makes the dig. Touch is just a little bit tight, though. Russia. Back in control. No! Backed up with service pressure. Semenov from great heights. Serves with a punch and a potency. 
that can't be received. Goes again, Semenov. Slightly better from Yusin from the centre. Works back to the line. The arm brushes. The wrist guides the ball away. Semenov stands it up. Good passing and setting from Russia. It's comfortable for Semenov because the first two touches are perfect. Semenov just holds the platform nicely. Newson struggling to do the same, but they are slightly in system. Newson rips one, but it's just long. Four points, now the difference. Russia look like they're staking a claim for bronze. Better passing from Houston. Comfortable side out play. Play stacked to the outside, shows the line, stays with the line, stays accurate and scores. Lezhikov still holds on the angle, knowing that Mewson can almost rip that one back on a sharp angle because the pass was good and the approach was strong. Yeah! Miss serve means set point for Russia. Semenov, who's been on point so far. Leshikov has been almost perfect as well. Off the net, chance for Russia here. The left hand of Semenov not quite getting back, facing into the centre of court. He gets told one save. Passing into great zones, wide plays again. The line's open. Russia don't need asking twice to take the lead by one set to zero. The fifth seeds, Konstantin Semenov and Ilya Leshikov have silenced the crowd here against the home favourites, Alexander Brower and Robert Mewson from the Netherlands. 21-17, but there's a long way left in this one. Alive again. Brown Newson have to dig deep here. Semen off to serve inside again, trying to cut the angles off from Brown, but then he goes on the wider set because he knows that's what Russia are trying to do. It's good enough to score one for the Netherlands. Both teams playing with width. Good vision from Houston. He sees the upper body turn in the air, so he changes the line of his block to match it. Width again for Leshikov. Yes. It's working, isn't it? Moving Houston around, just like the Netherlands are doing to Russia, trying to work the blocker and make them be off balanced, really, in the air. Straight passing. Big blocking from Semenov. Almost rips his elbow off. 
It's a monster block. It really is jumping back into the line. He shows the cross court, leaves the line, and jumps back in very late. Exactly the same play from Semenov. Not tricked twice, though, Musin. Semenov just starting on the cross court, diving back to the line. They have to be careful here, the Netherlands. But Semenov is tested when you play the two ball or you run the ball with width. Bump setting from Semenov. And when they have to bump set, the wide plays are limited. Scurrying at the net from both teams. Going again, Brown Newsom. Lechikov has all the tools to be a very good left side player. He already is. Has a look, works away from the body well. Pass is a little straight, but good enough to have all options open on the up and down set. And it's clever from Leshikov because he's worked away from the body so well. Brower has to hold on the cross court angle. Then Brower goes to the line. Eason. Good feet from the big man. It's a really nice platform, relaxed in the shoulders. He takes all the pace out the ball. And passing the ball into the front area of the court allows him an opportunity like that to side out. High and off the net from Leshikov. The reading from the Dutchies is good once again. It's tight to the net. It's a high stab of the wrist from Newsom. But it's teamwork that's changing the fortunes of the Dutch around. Eyes fixed on the prize from Newsom. They're stabilizing. Not that time. Brown Houston wasn't their finest 2018 season, really. A ninth place finish in the four star in Las Vegas, a seventh in the 2018 World Tour Finals in Hamburg. They'll be wanting to get into the top three and four because for longtime fans of this game, Brown and Houston should be at the top. They did win the Huntington Beach four-star, though. And the Doha four-star as well in 2018. Oh, Southpaw from Semenov. Giving it the old high left hand. Graham Houston expecting steep swings on sharp angles. Incredible, really, from Brower. Six foot six, but he's still two meters off the net there, easy. So he's underneath it. He really has to get his wrist, fingers and thumb over the top of the ball. Yes. Semenov, as high as he is, may struggle chasing that one down. Leshkov passing the ball far too wide. Chance for the block defense here. It's the defense that makes the play staying very, very still. Motionless. The torso, emotionless. 
in offense. The calmness key here. Brower knows that Leshikov doesn't have many options hitting from way downtown. Pass is much better this time out from Leshikov. Goes for the high angle roll shot. Brow and Houston are all over everything here. Russia simply have no answers. Shipping back to the line twice in a row. The feet not quite getting to the ball from Brower, but it doesn't matter so much when you're so, so high. Timeout Russia, you can see why. It's a good run this for Brown Houston. Leshikov almost over rotates with the upper body. The more that you rotate back facing cross court, the more chance you have of swinging wide. Looks like we're going to three again here in the Hague. Pass is exemplary. Leshikov again passes on that wider angle. Just right of centre. Semenov becomes interested to hit the ball on two. The block from Holland get interested in that from Russia. And then the wide set comes out to play and the blocker will be nowhere near it. Very much an Australian style of play. Josh Slack was one of the first. The Netherlands, on the other hand, staying high, staying aggressive. Fast passing, knuckle set from Semenov way downtown. That's almost one where you just close your eyes and swing from Leshikov. Really is. Knuckle set. Didn't really have much idea about that one himself. It looks easy from Houston. But look, he looks at the court. He stays super high. He knows where the defender is. He can slot the ball away. If you can see the defender as a spiker, it's a lot easier than looking for the blocker. The blocker can move a lot easier in the air and a lot later. Russia improving a little bit, but still a five-point game. Usual pictures from the Russian bench. Not many words. The mascot, Spikey, getting stuck in. 
with the crowd. Rushkoff, Semenov, growing into this set. Is it too little, too late? We're about to find out. As soon as the ball is passed on an angle, Semenov struggles to get across on the wide set to Brower. He can't finish. Brower knows he can just go off the hands. Passing again, this time inside, beating the block on the angle. They know exactly what they're doing here. Running Semenov around, running him wide one time. The next time running him inside, beating him for pace on the angle, where before they're looking to go off the block. It's all in the past for Brown we used to know. And that's the difference in the second set compared to the first. The pass. So much better from the Dutch. Semenov with the, sorry, Leshikov with the cross line. Passes still into a forward zone. The heights that these players are operating at is scary. You think about Sora and Mole. Varenhorst, another tall Dutch blocker. Mind games, maybe from Yusen. You can see him shuffle on the angle so, so early. He shows his cards to Leshikov, who then fires wide. From the centre now, Leshikov goes back to the line. Brower, that's a stinger. Six points the difference. A third set tie break might be needed decide who wins the bronze it. Seven off with a punchy serve yet again. Touch from Leshikov is world class. But they're running a side-out game here, the Netherlands. They're running seven off wide, hitting off the hands. Then they go on a sharp angle like that one. Don't be surprised if you see Brower use the high line next. Now that he's made the defender sit round on the sharp one, the line should be open. Great side-out from Leshikov again. Let's see what Brower does here. Because he's used the hands. He's hit cross-court. He's gone off a wide set, shaped it back angle. Leshikov may sit round here. There you go, back to the line. So smart from Brower. Really is. Field goal on Seminole. Miraculous stuff from Semenov, chance to score again, set point. Brower Mewson. It's a different performance from Brower Mewson in this second set. They're dictating the game through their pass. Another six goes. Get 
it's another wide set. Mewson setting absolute butter. Again, Brower scores through the block of Semenov, and we are tied at one set all. Great finish through the ball from Mewson. Semenov is, sorry, is Leshikov at the net. Roll reversal, same result. The crowd a lot happier and a lot louder because Brow and Mewson have come back to win the second set. We're going to a third. Confidence oozing from Brown Mewson. A bronze last year in this competition. They're looking to match that here now. They'll be disappointed they're not playing for gold. But when opportunity knocks on the FIVB World Tour, you have to take it. High passing wide set coming with the bump set from Semenov. Semenov is frustrated. Again, Leshikov is opening up slightly too much with the hips and the chest. Pass is strong again. Wider plays from Russia. Big angles, but Brower just sits around, knows it's coming. With again this time. Semenov chops it back, but Brower makes two great defensive in a row. Amusen with the SWAT block of the game so far. The block defense heating up from Holland. He stays so patient. He sees Leshikov get caught underneath the ball. More errors from Russia. Semenov is getting frustrated. Something that we've seen before, Semenov start to become disheartened. Change of sides. Semenov now on the left. Leshikov on the right. Brower reading everything. Semenov lets his eyes just gaze at the Dutch after this one. He might get told off for it. I think he has. It's a massive block, though, from Semenov. He has a good look at Brower, doesn't he? Straight pass. Newsom. You give him an inch, he will take it. Been some comeback this from Brown Mewson. It wasn't a good passing performance first set, but they're the real deal right now. Can't remember too many times in the last two sets. Leshikov has sided out with so much ease. Service to the left of Leshikov. More width on the set from the Russians, working off the body. He's very much aware there, Leshikov, that if he goes to the line, he has the massive spade hands of Mewson in his face. So he has to work away 
to find the gap. Shows he doesn't have to rotate quite as much as he has been. Semenov now taking it. To the Dutch once more. And all of a sudden, we're back to one. Smiles in the stands for the coaching staff. Lots of knowledge up there, high in the arena. Back set. It's good from Semenov. He stays disciplined. He's calmed down in the past few points, and he's better for it. Newson would struggle to go cross-court there. He's too square onto the line and almost would have to dislocate his shoulder to send it back angle. And this game has just turned around again. To think at the moment, there's no Brazilian or American team in the world's top ten. You just can't find the stat that tells you when the last time that happened was. Semenov. Well, it proves to be a good timeout for the Dutch. Semenov just getting a little bit jolty in his platform. No vision. But again, six with 11 can just hammer through anything. Passing will be key throughout this game. Better from Houston again. They're leaving Brower alone because he sided out so well. And Semenov seals the line again on Houston. Three kill blocks from Semenov on Houston. He's just staying disciplined taking time away from the Dutch spiker. That's good from the Netherlands if they meant to try and change the angle of the pass. They're not playing a wide set, something that you would see from Italy and the smaller player, Lupo, playing on sharper angles with the pass to then come in and access back to the line. The more that you hit from the middle, the easier it is to score to the line. More space. Jumping back to the line is Musen. The Semenov Musen battle is alive and well. Russia take the lead for the first time in the third set. <laughs> Through the middle, trying to cut the angles off, but the width on the play. Semenov is drifting. The width on the set is just enough to disrupt Semenov here. Timing and line slightly out. Hands are facing the wrong side of the sideline. It's smart from the Netherlands to run the wide play when they're brought inside, so they don't get caught underneath the block. Leshikov. Back to the party. Good pass on a nice angle. Means he has the whole court available. Passing woes. Chipping back off the body, but Leshikov wider sets again. The line is open. Semenov 
for somebody of his size. It's not easy to set that much width. And it looks as if Houston knows he couldn't get out wide enough to take the line. But you have to try and take the line off the wider set. Yes! Back to one. All attention on this one here. One of the best games of the entire week. Brown. Leshikov serves super high to the left hand side. Potentially to try and get Leshikov to pass straight, to take away an angle in his offense. But the pass is good. And the way that he moves his feet to get his feet facing the back corner, really good from the young Russian. This game has swung around. The Russian body language looks depleted 10 minutes ago. But right now, they're on top form. Yeah. One back for Robbie Houston. He gets Semenov back at a crucial time. He shows the line. Semenov loves hitting cross court. That's one thing we know. And at the last possible second, Semenov looks at the ball. And Newsom dives an angle. But just like Semenov, Newsom serves out the back. Pass into a good zone from Newsom. Semenov! Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Semenov gets his own back on Houston. Two will do it here for Russia. Both teams leaking points from the baseline. Alexander Brower with the serve. Inside on Leshikov again, trying to take away his sharp angles. They do that. He has to go high. He hasn't got the hard one there. They're looking for a hand over here, the Netherlands. And it looks as if it might all just kick off. Brower Musen going crazy for a net touch. Brower goes straight to the second referee as it's his job. Difficult to see there. Very, very close. No net touch from my eyes the first time, maybe the second time. And they might just be looking. For a card here as well, the Netherlands. It's a yellow. which is lucky, it's a warning. No points for Russia. But regardless, match point all the same. The pressure's getting to the Netherlands here. Brower misplaces the past. Still frustrated, Brower, but take nothing away from the Russians. Konstantin Semenov, Ilya Leshikov, Outstanding in their recovery and their comeback. Alex Brower could be punished later on for his actions. 
That fast, straight pass. The tight set brought Semenov right into the game. And that's something we don't really want to see. The net being pulled on in anger. No bronze medal for Brown Mewson. Semenov and Leshikov. It's their second bronze together after bronze at the Ostrava. Four star in the Czech Republic last year. Semenov and Leshikov take it in three against Brown Mewson in an absolute epic. 15-12 as we go down court side. Well, congratulations, Konstantin. Bronze medal, a great way to start 2019. Yeah, you know, this is a terrible game. Uh, second set is uh, very hard. Guys play very good. But uh, we have uh, some lucky ass turn, and 5-2 is a uh, no good start third set. But we're very happy as a uh, this team. <laughs> You know, I remember Olympic Games in the third place, we lost and I'm very good for me now. If I beat this team, I'm very happy, thank you. And uh, you and Ilya, you're a very, you're a relatively new team, about one year. How are you enjoying playing together? Uh, we play and start the uh, previous season and uh, more problem. Uh, Ilya, young player, now playing at the top level, but uh, for the season, is the level is up, 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 and the best defender of European Championship is uh, good for me. And uh, I have a second guy who is in the Russian Championship in the Russian country, Krasinikov and Ilya. This is two very good defender. I, 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 I like what I play with him. Well, it's uh, Christmas Day in Ru Russia tomorrow, so you got an early present. So oh. congratulations. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, tomorrow we go home and uh, we have only one day and uh, uh, 8 uh, January we're going to training camp. But now have a rest time and it go to training camp, preparing for the season. Well, congratulations. Thanks. See you on the podium. Thanks, thanks. A very happy Konstantin Semenov. This is a team that are growing. A bronze, a second bronze for them in their fourth final four in just a year playing together. Disappointment for Alexander Brouwer and Robert Mewson from the Netherlands. They won't win bronze again on home soil. But joy for Konstantin Semenov and Ilya Lushikov. They take the bronze here in The Hague. But will Russia win gold as well? To find out, you will have to join us very, very soon. But from us, from The Hague, it's goodbye for now.